Hey guys, welcome to RimWorld, this is Alpha 10, which got released pretty recently, and I'm gonna start a new game, so we're gonna go from the beginning again, there are a lot of new things going on for the game, so we're gonna see a few of those pretty soon. I'm gonna go for Cassandra Classic, which is uh, kinda like events, it gets harder and harder over time, so the longer you go, the harder it's gonna get, and we're gonna go for Rough. It is a rough planet, threats can be quite dangerous, and there are no bonuses to colonists' mood or crop yields. So we're gonna go for rough. Let's go for that. And I'm gonna take one of the worlds that I already made from before. So let's choose where we're gonna start out, and I think it wanna be a place like this. It's a kinda good amount of rain. Rain can actually be good. Like, if it starts, like, for example, a fire, or whatever. It can help really, really much, so that could be a good thing. So this is a temperate forest, the terrain is flat and pretty good temperature. J July is pretty good, 26 celsius and January minus 0.4 celsius, so that's pretty good. From period April to September. So this is where I will be starting out in this world, Minshir XV. And this is the tricky part, so now we're gonna get some people here. This is this can really be the hardest part when you're gonna go for the game. So even if you get, for example, someone that has a huge passion for grown, they might be, for example, a cannibal, and I never had a cannibal in my place, but I would bet that uh, that's not really a good thing. <laughs> Maybe eating up your enemies, I don't know, but uh, eating up your own colony, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't wanna have that happen. And this guy Brett here, he's actually a psychopath. So what does this mean? A hawk has no empathy. The suffering of others doesn't bother him at all. He doesn't mind if others are butchered, left unburied, imprisoned or sold to slavery. Unless it affects him. He also feels no mood boost from socializing. So, I mean, it is bad, but in the same way it's actually pretty good. Because he won't be affected if there are bodies lying around, so that can actually be pretty good. And he got good passion for mining, grown, construction. So I might actually go for this guy, the Luddite. I don't know what that profession actually is, a Luddite rebel. So he can't do crafting, no tailoring, no smithing. Commissar, let's see here, we need to have someone, I think I want to have someone that is pretty good on shooting. What did he, trigger happy? Minus two in shooting, oh, I don't like, I don't like it, you see when we get this. Minus 50% in aiming time, I mean, that's good. But you also got this shooting accuracy, minus 50%. That's not good, a machinist. For Ophelia, there's something exciting about getting hurt. She doesn't know why, she is wired differently. I guess so, I guess so, what can we get? So I'm gonna try to get someone that's good at shooting. So here we got someone shooting, slow poke. A little bit slower, optimist, that's actually pretty good, a permanent mood. And he's too smart, global learning, 8%, mental breakdown. So maybe this person. I think they might have uh, some injuries. Yep, no injuries. I'm actually gonna. Oh, 19 years old. Wow. 19 years old. 2084. Is that his real age? Has he been encrypted asleep for that long? Chronological age. 2084 years. That seems weird. I don't know how that's gonna affect it. I'm just gonna have to try to go for it. So, get one that's good with mining, construction. Grown, we got some shooting, research, crafting. I think I want someone who can have a little bit of passion for cooking. Herbalist. Do any one of them have social skills? Cooking and medicine. This is pretty good. It's a pretty good one. So maybe we should go for Douglas, the Grant, and Hawk. Let's go for it. Hawk, Grant, and Douglas. Let's start out. So it's the same kind of beginning as it was before. It looks pretty hot outside here, but it's actually only 7 Celsius. So let's start to get going. So I think the first I want to do is to actually set up a little stockpile here. So where do we want to set our base? I recently when I played this game, I started to actually kind of go and not start out where you actually are starting. So let's see, where should we be with this? Maybe we want to be close to some place where they have some steel that we can mine. It would go quicker to go between them if we get that, so... But I don't really need to see any place that's good with that. 
Maybe up here is something. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of boards here. Maybe we should build at the side here. I don't really like to be at the side. Actually, actually, I think we would start out here. So let's see here. We're gonna get a stock palace too, you know, so we can fill up a lot of things. I guess we could get a uh, dumping one directly. I'm just gonna make a big one here. Let's get a little bit of wood. Steel, medical, food. And who's gonna be our little hunter? So who has the good at shooting? That's gonna get a passion for shooting. Here we got... That's gonna be the shooter. Grand Stifler, Slowpoke. What injuries do the other guys have? Crypto Sleep Sickness. Okay. Okay, so let's get that hunter going. Shooting. Gonna have our little survival rifle. And I guess that the Douglas is gonna have our gun. And Grant's gonna take the knife. There we go. Let's take these as well. Silver is good. That's kind of what um, use for a little bit of trading later on once you progress a little bit. So normally I would actually be building this thing in, but I actually recently started out to try not to focus too much on that because it do take you know it takes a lot of time to do that. So let's see how wide. Yeah, that's gonna be two in width. That's gonna be good enough. So I'm gonna make a room and for the moment all three is gonna sleep in the same room. That's not gonna be the case once we get a little bit longer, but uh, now from the beginning that's what it is going to be. Should we get wooden beds? I guess we could. Should we just get normal ones? Let's just get normal beds. Or actually, this is not really a bed, it's just a sleeping spot. But uh, the first day I think that's pretty okay. So that's a good room. They're not gonna have the best time there because they do want to have their own space. They don't want to get disturbed while they're sleeping. Like everyone else in the real world don't want to get disturbed while sleeping. So that would be the first room. And I think that should be the main focus to get that ready. Because pretty often when I play this game people are actually not having beds the first night. And I don't like when they're actually sleeping outside. I want them to sleep inside. I want them to have a roof over their heads. Like, try to get pretty far pretty early on. And I think this time I might actually, later on, not in the beginning, play around with these manual priorities. It do seem to help a lot when you get it in the right way. You can mess it up, but uh, it's pretty good. It would actually be good if they added a little bit more so you can have like, instead of just having four different levels with it, you could have like six or eight or up to 10, I don't know. Because you're limited from 1 to 4 now, so 1 is the one that they prioritize the most and 4 is the one that they won't be prioritizing so much and nothing, they don't do it. So we need to chop down those trees. I don't want to do that, let's check it out. So it should be grow that do that, if I remember it right. Grow for taking away trees, but I think actually if um, you're doing something like this, it might actually be the construction doing this. Oh, we got a roof. That's really, really good. So I think the next thing we want to do is to actually get a place... I forgot what I was going to do. We're going to get some... So, you know, so we can get some um, electricity, I think. Because you might be thinking like, oh, should I guess so we can make food directly? But um, we're gonna need power for that, so I think the power is gonna be a pretty early on thing that we're gonna do. And I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for wind turbine direct when starting this time. It's really really good. I use it to not make this at all, but uh, it actually is really really good. The thing is that you know it works all around the clock as long as there's some kind of wind going on. So let's see here. We're gonna add some floor for this. I got tip about this tips uh, on my videos, so this works out pretty good. The only tricky thing is to know how. I know that it's five in width there, but uh, okay, two back and three in the front. We should be good with that. And the reason I'm doing this is because we don't want trees to grow up here, because if there are things in the way, this wind turbine is not gonna work. So we gotta make sure that we get these trees out of the way and uh, get our power going. 
So there's going to be a lot of building here. So we got this wind turbine, but we also want to have a room. I like to make a room where I put my batteries. It just that feels pretty good, I guess. I don't know if you ever want to do this, but uh, I kind of like doing it. So that should be... I think that would be good enough room. Could have a door on that side. And could have a little bit of floor and get a roof on this. Don't want it to rain on this. And uh, let's see here. Power. Battery. I think I will start with two batteries. Should be pretty good. Power. Going inside here. And then it's going to go from this room. Then it's going to go back into this. Where we're going to have our calling going. And this is going to be a hallway eventually. But just that we gotta try to focus on the more important things first when I go in here. So there are some things that if you have seen this game before and haven't seen Alpha 10, which are pretty obvious things to see new things. So for example, we got these dining chairs, which are pretty good. A comfortable, attractive chair for sitting at a table. I also got this Synfred armchair. I haven't made those. They require 120 of Synfred, but you can make it of other things like muffalo leather or whatever. So there are some new things we're starting out from the beginning in this game, so that's pretty good. We also got this new tab here, Joy, Steel Horseshoes Pin, Steel Chess Table, and Steel Billards Table, where they can have a good time. I think there are new things here as well, I don't think there was this thing for Joy from the beginning at all. So see, it's a little bit different inside here, there are a lot of different uh, bars going on here. So Joy is going up, you can see how to feel in low expectation, disturbed sleep, so you see there 5 minus sharing bedroom, 4 minus disturbed sleep, so it's pretty important to actually get them different rooms. And eventually it's going to be important actually to get this locked in as well, because if we have this lying around open like that, things are going to, like, yeah, they're going to break over time, so they will lose like durability and uh, become really bad, so... It's not good. Uh, it might only be when it's raining on, I'm not sure about it, but uh, you really don't want to have things lying outside, so. So what did it do? And who do we got for building things? For the moment, who's doing construction? I'm gonna add a hawk to that as well. We only had one doing construction, so. I think we keep the sleeping spots for now. 360, let's see. Uh, Pretty good amount. I think this takes over a hundred, this one though. Okay, a hundred for that, and I guess it's fifty each for this hundred fifty. So we will get power inside here, and that's good. But I want to make them make this first, so we're not actually going to build anything here for the moment. Just going to let them do the floor here. It can take, I would say, some days to get your base going. Like, you know, to get the basic things going with your base. Do take a little bit of time. Okay, so we actually got the battery room ready, but missing one wooden wall, I guess. Looks like there's one missing. Yeah, there we go. And I see the wind turbine is actually spinning a little bit, but I think it's... You see how... Blocked by a poplar tree. No, not a poplar one. <laughs> a poplar tree. Okay. And I'm probably gonna install some mods eventually for this game as well. I know that there are some really good ones which uh, changes. You can easily see, you can like, for example, see your characters up here. But I can actually switch between them with a key here. I can't say what the name for this key is. It's like, you know, the small little dots. So, good to go between your people and you actually go to the next person. Not only that you're getting selected, you actually get moved to them. But one thing I noticed with this game in Alpha 10 as well, it do seem like um, people are way more alive in some way. They're doing a lot of strange things. They can go for a walk, they can lie down, they can watch the sky, watch the clouds. Yeah, we see a Douglas here. He's a cloud watching. I don't think I saw that in Alpha 9. I'm pretty sure I didn't see that. So it do feel like, even though people was kind of alive in Alpha 9, it do feel like uh, this... This version, they are way more alive than it was in Alpha 9. So they ain't only like mindless workers, they actually have some things they want to do. They want to have a little bit of free time to enjoy themselves. See his joy is going up, he's having a good time watching the cloud. Seeing different shapes going on, I guess. 
See, this is spinning. See, we don't really have to finish this whole thing for this to keep spinning, but we really want to get those away. So maybe we should do some mining, or should we see if we actually have... We might have some uh, steel lying around. Normally it should be... Here, yeah, who got some steel? I think that's pretty good when it's starting out. So you don't have to mine them all down when it's starting out. Because if you mine them down, you're still gonna need to pick them up, so... Here's some more. Can get some of this food. I wonder if everybody's actually doing hauling. Yeah. So that's good. Ooh, feeling up power. I think we could actually... We can actually lock this in. I'm gonna do it. So we're gonna finish the stockpile room. And I guess after that I'm actually gonna make um, some more rooms. Because we can wait for the food for a little bit at least. So I think it will make maybe one bedroom, bedroom at a time, so we don't get like too much construction at the same time. We want to be able to do more than one thing at a time. And we also want to put in some floor here, else I think that would keep the tree inside. And I don't think that's so good. I'm not sure if they will actually get a roof if you have trees inside. Or if the trees are like gonna decay or something like that. I mean, we have a lot of food. 26 food. 9 food? Okay, they actually... Oh, they moved out a little bit of that. But the good thing with this pack of survival meat is that they actually do not rot, so it's good early starting out and we don't need that freeze or anything. We just gotta keep moving on until I can actually get a freezer and we can start to do some hunting. Shoot down things. And this game gets pretty exciting the longer that you get in this game. And I think it's actually it's really hard to quit this game once you start playing this game. It's really really hard to stop playing this game. So it's a pretty amazing game. This game is actually very 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 fun and a lot to do even though it's in alpha so. Really happy what I've done with this game so far. So, I think we're gonna wait for that room. I guess we could add an, um, a wooden bed inside here. I think I put it that way, and we should get some... I think we should get some power inside here as well. While we're at it, so... And we should have some... Uh, lamp? Oh, not there. There we go, and we landed. What What should this... I'm gonna name this Luna. After one of you guys who watch my Stoneheart videos, Luna Girl, so this place is gonna be Luna. Okay, so let's see here, we should get a lamp going. No, okay, that, that, actually, that can actually work, and we might have something here. Because there's this thing here. We can make like a chest table here, and... Uh, Wow, that actually take 120 steel. That's a lot to make that one. But we could have that there later on. Don't think we're gonna do that now. Things that like... Uh, the other things that are way more important. We need to chop down some trees. We're out of wood. I really want to have some like, you know, chainsaw or something, you know, to sh chop these down. It feels like it goes way faster to actually do mining than doing this. It might not be that, but I kind of feel like it is that way. Maybe it's because you're spending so much wood in doing things, so... It feels like it don't go that fast because you're spending so much. So that's room almost done. I think we should get some wood going here. It's gonna be hallway here anyway, so... And um, I'm gonna make this colony a little bit different. I like to try out to make them a little bit different. So they don't always look the same, so the corridor is gonna go this way, it's gonna go this way, it's gonna go that way. So the, it's just gonna look more interesting than what I had before when I had as a basic rooms and it was a big color, like a corridor going through the whole thing. So I think the room is gonna look more interesting and it could be, it could be in a good way as well for defending the base. So to get a roof over that as well, that's awesome. I'm gonna remove one of these beds now. And maybe we should... what time it is? I think we might be able to make another bed. 
So we're not gonna make two wooden medals here because it's not supposed to be that, so... Maybe we should haul some things away because it looks pretty ugly having it here. <laughs> um, haul that one away, is, so that's gonna be good. See, the wood is getting spent so fast. They do seem like Hawk is actually doing pretty fast. They have 8 and grown, so that might be why he's chopping down so fast. 1 and grown, 8 and grown, and has a normal passion level for it, interested. So I guess we got pretty good woodcutters now. Grant is not that good at it, but he's good at other things. He's good at shooting and has a big burning passion for it. And research as well. Which we're gonna do eventually. For me, I don't feel like it's a really, really high priority for me. It's gonna be something that uh, we're gonna make once we get like the essential things done, so... So I think we can do a little bit more structure here. I'm gonna end the corridor here, at least for the moment. So this is gonna be inside the room as well now, so it's, it's gonna be on the roof. I'm gonna bring it over like this, so we can, you know, put some lamps and whatever we wanna put there. Maybe make them connected in between here. And I think we're actually gonna make, we should make some solar panels so we can get some power from that as well. So I think two would be pretty good, that's 200 in steel for both of them. I could make two different battery rooms, I'm probably gonna do it eventually, but for the moment I'm just gonna keep one. Because, you know, we have a little bit limited with the steel and all the resources, so... Gonna try to go for the things that we can go for for the moment. Cargo pods, that's nice. What is that more? Visitors. A digger from Trogo of Cattle is visiting the colony. She is named Aban Cuero Barra. Okay, so he actually got some iguana skin. I don't know what that is. To me, it sounds like it would, would be some kind of bat or something. <laughs> like, uh, is it called guano, like to say in Ace Ventura? This looks like a tribal man. He's equipped a great bow. It's a good one also. And the water he got for skills is good at mining. We could have, like, you know, captured this guy if we wanted to, but... Uh, I don't feel like, you know, we don't really have any room for having prisoners, and uh, I don't feel like we want to get enemies with people now. I don't want to lose this colony, <laughs> not this early on. I want to lose it to some battle or some against some bigger threat, something, not against that little tribal man outside there. Two beds gone. I guess we should make, should make a third room for a guy. They can sleep. So I guess that maybe we should make it. It's gonna be a pretty big, uh, big weird room for. So this is not gonna be for an one that's gonna live there because that room is just gonna be way too big. So this might be where we actually do the food. And I'm gonna make the room for the next person. It's gonna be up here instead. Should I make it that big? That could work. Wooden floor, and now we're spending a lot of wood again. So much use, use of the wood going on here. Oh, he's just standing outside here, what's he doing? Wandering. But actually the people I got now, they haven't really done much uh, weird things. But see that this guy, he's walking around a little bit. I like that they're doing that. It just make him more alive walking around, I guess. Hmm. Oh, that's a psychopath walking around. It can be pretty annoying, you know, they go away really far away and they're not doing any work, so, but uh, at the same time they gotta have some free time anyway, so. They gotta keep up their mood, so we don't wanna have people being pissed off all the time. That's not good. We don't want any bad things going on here. So I think we should also put an um, lamp in this room. Gotta keep the lamps going. And one here, and we should have, um, you know, so it don't go too dark here. Oh, we actually need to add... Uh,
Where do we get these things? I'm getting confused. Here we go. I actually have no door there. We need to have a door here as well. If we don't have it, they're not going to be able to enter and exit. We might even have a door at this side as well. Yeah, let's get a door for that side as well. But ah, this looks pretty good, I guess. But guys, I think this will be it for today with RimWorld Alpha 10. And I'm going to continue this pretty, pretty soon. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. So, and if you like this video, free to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more with RimWorld. Stoneheart and I'm also gonna do a new with the banished and also doing a an, uh, series with Oceanhorn so guys thank you for watching hope you have a good, good time I'll take care